Hi, Sydney. Welcome in today. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to be working on your hair today. Will you tell me a little bit about what you are looking for in our styling session today? Yeah, of course. Um, I have a date later tonight. Oh, fun. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Out to eat? Yeah, we're going to go out to eat. Okay, fun. Mm -hmm. um, were you hoping that your hair would be straightened, curled? I was looking for a curlier look. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Um, yeah, I'm just going Going to go ahead and touch your hair. Mm -hmm. It's feeling very healthy and well taken care of. I'm just going to go ahead and move your seat just a little bit more in front of me. I take a look. I'm already envisioning very beautiful curls on you today, so <laughs> I'm really excited for that. Me too. Um, you can go ahead and just relax. I'm just going to go ahead and start brushing out your hair. First, I have this wooden comb going to be using as like a base detangler for our session here today. I do have very tangly hair. That is definitely something that this comb will gently soothe out. Let me know if I'm hurting you at all as well. I like to keep my touch nice and gentle. So starting with the ends and then slowly working our way up from there. How often do you wash your hair? I typically wash my hair every like two to three days, but then I wash my bangs every day. I do that too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel it. It, it. That's like the perfect combo for me. Yeah. do their own thing. hair and scalp both look really healthy, which is definitely a really good sign. Sometimes it's easy for the scalp to dry out in the colder months, but mm -hmm. now that it's getting a little bit nicer out as far as the weather goes, uh, it will be easier to keep the hair more moisturized, which definitely makes hair care easier as well. Mm -hmm. Um, especially because I bleach my hair. The winter months have been horrible. Yeah, and this winter seems to last forever too. I keep <laughs> waiting for it to end. How often do you bleach your hair? Is that how you get this blonde effect? Do you bleach it and then dye it or just bleach it? I do highlights. So uh, I do like a full highlight is the technical term. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you do it yourself? Do you get it done at the salon? Oh, I, yeah, no, I don't trust myself. <laughs> so I go to the salon every like six to eight weeks. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I know uh, you and I talk about our travel adventures a lot, so I know you appreciate the brush I'm using from Japan, actually. It's my so little Eevee brush. <laughs> I've been using in my videos a lot, so I just had to point that out to you. I love it. <laughs> the little bow is so cute too. Right? I saw it and I was like, yoink. I got it at the um, Don Quixote store, which is oh, like yeah. the, I don't know how you would call it, it's a, definitely a touristy spot, mm -hmm. but um, for good reason. There were so many fun things in there. There was like seven or eight floors of so many cool, fun little objects. I play a lot of video games, and one of the ones, like one of the series I like, is the Yakuza games. 
Oh, and Don Quixote is like a setting in that. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I wonder how accurate it is to the store. It's so fun. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that video game. Mm -hmm. I just started watching a new anime. It's on HBO Max. It's it's I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's some it's about ninjas. Have you heard of this? On HBO. Yeah, it's like I I. I, ninja is like something, the title is like something ninja. I just I can't oh. remember what exactly it is, but it's really good so far. It's nice. kind of like, have you ever seen Tokyo Ghoul? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Tokyo Ghoul meets Demon Slayer. Oh, that's fun. like okay. the vibe I'm getting so far. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and light a candle for some soothing vibes here. Going to draw a match. This is a nice toasted vanilla scent here. Mm. Can I ask you to actually hold this for me while I light it because the match strikes on the bottom? Oh. I'm going to hopefully without burning myself light this baby up. You know, one wick is good enough, <laughs> as it's been a little bit harder to light as the, the wax melts more, mm. and these are not the best for avoiding being burned, <laughs> so this is, this is good enough for me. Very cute though. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully we have some nice toasted vanilla vibes. Mm. I'm going to switch over to some products. We do have this heat protectant. I'm just going to zhuzh it around in the bottle and spray it into my hand, doing very generous pumps. I also have this quick curl cream that a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these two products together, adding a touch more of the heat protectant. I'm just going to begin to work that through the hair. This shouldn't be too intense of a heat because it's not an iron. Mm. It just is going to be rotating between the hot and cool settings. It's more like a blow dryer. Have you ever used one of the Dyson Air Wraps before on your hair? I have not, but I've heard amazing things. It's really fun. I'm, in truth, still learning as well, so I think it'll be fun. I also I um, wanted to test it out on you today because you have, I think, the perfect length of hair for it as mm. well. I'm going to draw my little brush up. I don't want to go too heavy on the product around the scalp, or else it can be a little bit heavy. So I'm mainly focusing on the ends of the hair, using the brush to evenly distribute the product. Smells good too. <laughs> I'm just going to rotate you around just so I can look at your front here. Add a little bit of just the bangs. I'm going to try not to touch the bangs much in our session. I'll take a look at them after. But I am just going to be taking a look in the front as I slowly brush back some sections of the hair. Where do you normally part your hair? I typically part just off center. I have a widow's peak, so I, you can't see it with my bangs, but. Somebody commented on one of my videos that I do too, and I've never noticed really? that before. Yes, yeah. twinsies, twins. <laughs> I had to look up what a widow's peak even was. Oh, you didn't know? I didn't. Yeah. And that was, I, I don't really show up on my channel without my bangs very often, mm. so it was, it was interesting. I was like, oh, I guess I do, that's fun. Yeah. So I like, I part just off center based on my widow's peak. On the right side? Mm -hmm. So... I'm 
would you say about here or you move it over you can take a look in the the lens too i know you can move it a smidge bit far would you say around here or it goes over a bit farther oh yeah that looks right okay evenly distributing throughout your hair. I'm just going to turn it on as far as settings go, just to show you and anyone who might be interested at all in purchasing this product. So it just has an on and off switch. There's three levels of intensity. It's going to be staying on the lowest intensity today. And then there's three settings as far as heat goes. Um, I'm still playing around with it in my own head but uh so i'm just going to kind of experiment today as we go but i think a strategy is switching between the hot and the cool to help hold the curl even more so that's what we're going to be playing around with today you can go ahead and just close your eyes and relax i'm going to be turning it on and starting with the first section of hair Real quick too, before I start, you're able to see which direction the curls go in. Um, so we are going to just start with the left side since mm -hmm. we're on the right side of the head, just to see how that plays out. And just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of your hair. I'm just going to turn it off and let the curl fall out. It shouldn't be too hot on your head at any point. It doesn't really get that hot, but if it's too hot or uncomfortable in any way, you just let me know. Oh yeah, it just felt like a blow dryer, like you said. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm always scared of burning my own head, so this <laughs> product was definitely very attractive to me. Yeah. is figuring out how to let it like do its own work as well so that's something I've been having a good time playing around with. Mm. Okay. I really like how light and airy it is so far. As I go, I'm going to make sure I'm doing some hairspray as well, but not quite yet. I'm just going to slowly rotate you as we go along. I tried switching it to the cool setting before letting the curl go. Don't know how huge of a difference it makes, but I'm going to keep just playing around and seeing what works best.
are slowly going in nice small sections to help create that waved look. making the hair overly crunchy. Just gonna gently rotate you around, make sure you don't accidentally touch the plant. <laughs>
Now that we're reaching about midway through the back of the head, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the direction of the curls to mirror the other side that we have here. is coming out so far. It's like a nice relaxed curl type vibe. I'm just going to use my hairspray to just 
There's just a little bit of that in there. And I am going to be turning around so that I can take a look at the other side of your face. Beautiful. Brush out this hair as well. Would you say your hair has a bit of a natural wave to it? Oh, or is absolutely. that from the styling you've done? Well, yeah. Yeah, what I came in with today was just my natural air dried hair. That's amazing. I'm so <laughs> jealous. Your hair is so gorgeous. <laughs> it holds the curls so nicely as well. Mm. So all the viewers can see like an example of uh, her natural wavy texture versus the look of the curls. Go ahead and keep going. We are almost done here. We're in the, the final final touches. Just, just, just 
up. Now we're gonna bring you back around so I can take a look at your face. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and do a little finishing touches. I love the way it turned out though. I had so much fun playing around with the dice in today. I experimented with doing a little bit of a different style. At the beginning more I tried turning it on and off as I went, but then kind of discovered that I don't think that was really helping a lot. <laughs> I don't think it was doing that much. It was almost easier and faster to just let the curl fall loose on its own. curls that it does are not too tight or particular. It's more of a loose beach wave. So I'm just going to use my comb sparingly, gently. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to stand up and we can show your final look to the camera. Okay, I love how this look came out. You can take a look in the camera too. I really like how it frames your face and it blends really well with the makeup. I just like, I think it was perfect with your length of hair. You can do a little spin, show everybody, yeah, the back. It's like so airy and bouncy and just so cute. What do you think? I love it, it has so much volume. Right? <laughs> it, it looks like you are like ready for your date tonight. Like I feel super like I look cute. like a little doll. <laughs> you do, you look like a little princess. You're like Peach over here. Like, you look so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, I had so much fun playing with your hair. I love when you pamper me. Thank you so much. I love pampering you. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>